This is a better day today for weather. Yesterday and day before was uh, what the heck was it 29 degrees Celsius, uh, 33 with the Humidex, which is really hot for me. Although we often get that, it's just not the average temperature by any means for this month. Today is more like it. It's around uh, well, today's on the cool side. It's going for 13 Celsius, and it was down probably two or, the, or three this morning. But anyway, the bugs are far less plentiful today. The other day when it got hot, it was you know, the bugs that came out were the ones that we typically see in the middle of the hot summer, deer flies and horse flies. And I'm not surprised, like this is the type of um, sort of boggy meadow that they like to breed in and hang out in. So I knew they were gonna be bad here at some point this summer. I didn't expect it this early. So I had to deal with black flies, mosquitoes, and deer flies and horse flies. The only thing I don't have around here is ticks, which is uh, a good thing after hearing everybody else's horror stories about them. So, as you can see, I've been cutting all these, these uprights, these half logs, um, on the mill. So I'm taking the either 8, 9, 10 feet, depending on how, when I cut them. Uh, they're fairly dry. All these are from at least last year. So, anyway, I'm cutting them in half on the mill and then uh, trucking them back here on the ATV. It's a lot easier to cut them on the mill in half than with a chainsaw or splitting them. And then uh, just cutting the, them the length so that they can go into the four-wheeler. Anyway, between that and all the soil that I've been bringing back, it's been a week of a ton of trips back and forth with the machine, with the, with the four-wheeler and the four-wheeler trailer uh, with soil and uh, this wood and just material, other materials. Um, yeah, stuff mainly, the plants for the garden, plants for the greenhouse. Anyway, I know this is not <laughs> what a lot of people watch the channel for, this, uh, this um, gardening instead of cabin building. But obviously food is like key component of self-reliance and my self-reliance channel it's always been about um, spending as much time in nature and doing all these things in nature but it's you know shelter in the form of cabins and other shelters it's food production food gathering hunting fishing uh, water getting clean water to drink and clean and cook with and fresh air clean fresh air and this is like the, this is the quietest place i've ever been outside of a, a park a provincial park or a national park and the cleanest air I've ever experienced I think outside of those kind of areas those real uh, wilderness areas so I'm really really enjoying this place um, with the bugs not being bad right now and a cool sunny day like today it's like perfection if you've ever been like camped in the summer around pines like this uh, with the sun beating down the, the aroma coming off of the the ground and the pine trees and the, the uh, spruces and the and the tamaracks it's uh, like it's, I can't even explain it, but anyway, if you've experienced it, you know what I'm talking about. So, I, like, it's just, this place is, to me is almost perfect. The only thing that would have made it better is, a, you know, if I was right on a lake. But lakes, um, until you get to really remote areas, like more remote than this, it's hard to find a lake that you're not going to have, you know, close neighbors on and, and the noise of motorboats and stuff. This is a lot quieter for that reason. I'll, I'll be picking at gardening basically from now to end to harvest season and then beyond with the greenhouse so it's always going to be a component of my everyday life and I'm going to keep filming that but um, I would say another week before I finish the intensive work in the in the garden areas and then I'm I can get back onto the cabin like I keep talking about. I do need to get that substantially started before winter comes so I can't lose track of that but summertime I'm spending a lot more time with my family and a lot more time on the water too so it's gonna slow my progress down here but I'm in no rush just enjoying the process and enjoying life anyway I'm gonna put these things together and try to get that one planter done today and get some soil into it and get some stuff planted and get them out of the out of the uh, seed packages and the uh, grow, grow pots
I think 400 bags of topsoil I had to bring in by ATV and hand bomb it here. So go into town with a truck and a trailer to get to my access point and then load it onto the the uh, ATV and the like the side by side and the trailer that I pull behind it. Haul it back here, unload it, go back for another load and then hand bomb it in here. <laughs> Cut it open and get it into the beds that I had to go. So that's why I hardly had any video this week. It's pretty boring to film that. Plus, I had to mill all of these. I had to mill the top plate. I still, um, I think I've got enough milled from this top plate. So I have to install that now this afternoon. And then I guess tomorrow I'll start planting these bags. And then after that, I'll clean up all my construction stuff here and uh, lay out the configuration for the center bed which is actually bigger than these beds so that's going to take some time too i think i'm going to change the uh, style for the interior because it's just so time consuming and uh, i don't think i have enough cedar logs left to uh, to uh, cut into this i don't want to use up all my the rest of my larch I've kind of allocated that to the cabin for the most part. So, yeah, a lot of work. But this is good for probably 20 years. I'll have to keep topping this up, but I'll be making all my own um, compost and soil from now on. I collected what I could from from the ground around here, like in the forest, and but most of that soil I ended up using for the outdoor plants. And a lot of the well, probably half of this is full of rotted vegetation and old vegetation, like uh, logs and stuff. So that would have been twice as much soil if I had to use all soil. Anyway, that's going to keep uh, compressing and uh, and decomposing. So that's going to keep shrinking and, and, and settling as well. So I'm going to have to top this off probably even this year and then top it up for sure by next spring. And then hopefully after that it'll just be a little top dressing with an inch or so over here. But if that was 400 bags for this, that's probably, I don't know, not having calculated the volume, but it's probably another 600 bags for the center portion. And I'm not sure I can get them this year. I think because it's after the May long weekend here when garden really gets started or gets going. Most people will get their beds in and all that so that places to stop carrying the soil and the plants. So I, I hopefully I can get another skid. At least maybe just do like a six inch bed in the center and then slowly build that up over, over the next year. Or so. so hopefully I'm back on track. If I just do that, like half bed or a short bed in the center here, I can get back onto the cabin and go. I'm gonna do something to that solar shed right there too this week. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you back at the homestead next time, next week. Take care.